Hello everyone, welcome to CodeVio. Today we are going to make a game tic tac toe using Flutter. So let's start the video. So this is the base application we get after the create factor command. So let's declare the, de declare the variables we need. Firstly, we need a squares, and next we need a this next variable. It's a volume one and it is used to determine who is the next player okay so let's initialize these variables i am creating a function to initialize these variables and the uh, firstly the squares contains the it squares is a list which contains the nine squares of our game so i am going to initialize it with the list dot field method and the length is nine because we have nine squares we will implement our is next equal to false like sorry false for the first case so that means next pair is our first pair x okay then we can call that method in the int state that's done then we can write the ui code for our application first of all we will use the column widget and firstly we need to show who is the next player so we are going to implement that first for that i am going to use a container to decorate it so that i am using the decoration and uh, the box decoration and inside the box decoration let me give a border and a border radius so for the border radius let it be a circle of one with a value two and for the border we will give a border dot all and let the color be white okay that's all about the container decoration and let's give the child widget and the text we will use our variable is next to check whether who is our next player and if is next is true it will be a the next first player is x otherwise the next player is o let us name it as player 1 and player 2 i think it's good okay that's i think it's good so we can use the ternary condition and uh, then player 2 so player 1 will be the then one with x and player 2 will be the one with o okay now let's style it text style then we can give a style for it let it the color be white again and we can also increase the font size let the font size be 20 okay that's good at last let it be a bolder one so we can you choose the font weight to be bold okay so it's a font weight dot bold okay now let's check what's our app looks like okay i have restarted the application because we have initialized the variable so we must restart our application okay so okay the app has been restarted okay you can't see anything we have forgotten to change our scaffold color so please do that and also we don't need the app bar i have just removed it background color uh, let it be from rgbo and i have find a value for it okay we can choose this value for our color i think it seems good okay next pair is one okay we can give just padding now it looks like we need to have a padding also i think it seems good okay that's nice next we need the squares for our game so for that we need to write a function make squares 
and it will receive the number so this number indicates the index of our squares variable which we declared above okay so we will return a sized box inside our make square so i will return the sized box and let the height be 75 and the width be 75 okay now you can give the child widget i will wrap it in a big well because i want to give a touch property for it that's why and for the child widget i will use a container and we want to decorate it and the box decoration well we need some border and also so firstly we need a box shadow and let the box shadow with with the color green okay then that's all about the box shadow next we can give a border for it let the border be with the width become 10 then now it's will really good i think and after that we need a child widget for the container for the child widget we will use a sender within the sender we will use a text widget does text will we will use the squares list and use the index passed from our index passed as a parameter to this function to represent the squares okay squares value so we will use the list okay i think you got it then let's style it text style okay now let the font size be 36 so we need to have big x and a big o so that we make the font size a little big and also the font weight be a bolder one i think now it seems good and also let's the colors be black that's all about it we can now our we can check our square look like so inside our column widget i am going to create a row so because we need a three squares in a row so for that i have created a row widget firstly i will call the make square and pass the index x0 so it will be our first square and now we can copy it to make it more so we have three squares but we must change the value before that we must change the alignment and make it center so now it looks like and also we must have a sized box between the player and the boxes okay let the height be 30 i think okay now it will becomes good yes nice okay then we must make a two more rows so that we will have the nine columns okay before that let me change the color of my container because i think black isn't good looks good let me change it to white now it's it's much better in white i think so okay let me add the color property okay now yeah it's nice then we can copy the rows to make it three okay now you can see we have nine squares and we must change the values for each square so one zero one two three four five and six seven eight now our squares of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we will initialize the squares variable and use the squares variable to render the each square okay now we need to mark the square whenever a user clicks so that we must we are going to create a function let us call it mark square okay i am going to implement the mark square function which is used to mark each column no each square when the user taps okay here also we need the squares index 
so we will call it in a set state and for our variable choice of number equal to e sex nest we will use with the help of this variable we will determine to mark is tax x or o so because if the x is our next player we must mark it as x otherwise we must mark it as o after that we must complement the e sex variable because after the x has played next it's o's turn so we must change it okay now we can check whether it works or not so when i click nothing happens so we have make it the function but we didn't call that it anymore okay we have forgot it to call so let's just call it so inside the incubal let me call the function so on tap property and after that mark square and we must pass the index which we received okay so we will mark the square when it taps with the corresponding players value if it is a pair one it will mark it as x otherwise it will mark it as o okay let's look x o again x yeah it's working perfectly but there is one problem when i click on a square which has been already marked you can see that it changes that's because we need to check a condition before we mark a square so it should not happen for that we will use a condition if squares of number equal to equal to empty then only we need to call the mark square otherwise we must not do this so that we can give a condition like this so it's now it looks perfect let us restart our application and let's see what happens let us check it right now x and o and then x and let us click no it does not works okay now it's been good because we have avoided the repetition and we have completed our implementation and now we need to check whether a player wins or not for that i am going to create a function called check winner so this function will return a true if the if a user wins otherwise it will return false if a user fall if a, this if a neither, neither user wins okay so let us declare a variable called lines it is a list and in this lines list we will hard code our maximum combination that can be made so first combination is 0 1 2 squares and next one is 3 4 5 and probably the next combination is 6 7 8 and the next combination is that leg state columns so it will be 0 3 6 and the next combination is 1 4 7 and again the next combination is 2 5 8 and we must also take two diagonals so let us include the diagonals also diagonals will be 0 and then 4 and then 8 and then la diagonal it's become two four six so it's perfect now so we have included the all cases that a user may be okay now we need to iterate to each of these lines and we must check whether if any user have same values in each of these question for that i am using a power lab for loop that for y var i in lines so it will take each of the list and i need each of these index to be stored in a variable for simplicity and int b equal to i of 1 and int c equal to and lastly int c equal to i of 2 i of 2 okay that's clear now here a 0 comes to a in 1 comes to b and 2 comes to c for the next case again case 3 comes to a 4 comes to b and 5 comes to c like that for the last case 2 comes to a 4 comes to b 6 comes to c that's how we work through okay now we need to check whether these values 
the squares contained in these questions have same values or not so for that let me check whether the squares of a not equal to firstly i need to check whether it's not equal to empty because if it is empty also it will be equal so first we need to check condition whether it is not equal to empty and again we will check whether squares of a it is the first position equal to the second position if the first position and second position contains x or o we are going to check that so equal to equal to squares of b and if they are equal and also we need to check whether 2 equal to c that's why we are using squares of b equal to equal to c now we will check whether that three squares have same values or not if it is a true it, there will be a winner otherwise win there will not be a winner because so we will return true otherwise we will return false now the function is ready now we need to check whether the winner becomes or not for that that tells inside the math square method we will include a if condition after a power has been made a move we need to check whether he is he became a winner or not so we will call the method and if done true we will make an alert that the player has been won so let us implement a show alert method we will implement it later now we can give a message to that method and we can use the is next variable to you declare who is the winner if is x next then player 2 will be the winner because next turn is x the last turn taken is player 2 so he will be the winner otherwise the winner is player 1 okay i think you get the idea and next we need then next we need to implement an else condition if the check winner return false and also we must check a condition for the draw case so if the player has been marked as square and if there is no squares left we must say that it is a draw case so i am going to check whether the squares dot contains anything then we must show an alert it's a draw so if the squares doesn't contain an empty screen then there is no another move left and then there is also no winner so it is a draw as pure case and we can implement the show alert method and it will receive a string that we passes the and we will return a show dialog inside that let us give the context and the builder and the builder will be a alert dialog and the alert dialog inside the alert dialog we will pop up the result of our game okay let the title be an alert and we can implement our content to be the actual message that has been passed to the method okay so content be the text of message okay let me style this content i want it to be it a little bit bigger than usual one so the text style and the font size be okay 22 i think it's enough and for the actions part we will implement a flat button and yes for the on pressed method we want to firstly remove our alert from the screen i use for that i am going to use the nighter dot pop ctx and and also after we close the application we will restart the game so for that i have called the initialize again which we created the above okay and then the text is close okay now we have cleared our implementation let us it's time to check our application whether it works perfectly or not so i'm just restarting the application let 
now I think it's a little bit slower my system something has been going in background okay it's been an empty one let's check x o x o x yeah winner is player one we got the result yeah it's working perfectly let's check again x o x o x o x yeah again the winner will be x and let's take a draw case whether it shows a draw or not okay i'm going to check the draw case yeah it's a draw so our app works perfectly that's all about our this video it is a just simple game that we have built using flutter and if you like this video please hit the thumb icon and don't forget to subscribe the channel and also share my videos okay then bye